Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. I'm Peter Gross, co-host of the original Wild Kingdom with Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler. In the early days of filming wildlife, as you'll see tonight, researchers had to capture animals in order to observe and learn from them. But that's no longer the case today. Modern technology such as drones and satellite tracking offer new ways to study animals in their natural habitat with less intrusion from human touch. Wild Kingdom set the gold standard for nature programming and introduced generations of young people to the wonders of the natural world. Fortunately, the successful research that began with our original series helped many animals make a comeback from the threat of extinction. And that's good news for the Wild Kingdom. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom right here on RFD TV. Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom is presented by Mutual of Omaha, the people who pay. Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. At this time, when many of us are deeply concerned with saving endangered species, quite an opposite problem exists with one of Africa's major herd animals, the zebra. With greater protection from man and a decline in natural enemies, this animal has, in some areas, become too numerous. To avert possible famine or epidemic, many of the zebras are being trapped for relocation in less populated areas. The trap being used is a whole new concept in animal capture, and Tom Allen and I were invited to see how it works. Their system permits the zebras to be caught and moved without human contact. Herded by helicopter, the zebras are driven into this opening. As they pass this point, a second barrier is raised. A third one, erected here, allows the animals to be driven directly into waiting trucks to be taken elsewhere for release. Our zebra roundup took place in one of the world's largest game reserves, here at Kruger National Park in South Africa. Here, amid the scrubby growth of Kruger National Park, wildlife abounds. Our guide, chief ranger of the Park Satara District, is Jan de Kolk. According to him, the giraffes found here represent one of the largest concentrations in the world. These long-necked browsers of the thorny acacia treetops encounter little competition for the food they prefer. Our helicopter is waiting, and we must move on. Jan tells us that because of the overpopulation, some animals here are finding it progressively more difficult to get sufficient food. The most familiar of African antelope, the graceful impala, are numerous here, but not overabundant like the zebras. Diminishing food grasses for the zebras has resulted in whole herds of them weakening and becoming much less resistant to disease. There are still some places in Kruger where zebras aren't so numerous. The animals we're going to capture today will be moved there to help even out the population levels. Ideally, capturing should be done without humans touching or roping the animals, so that shock of contact remains at a minimum. That's why the game management experts at Kruger have been using the new trap we'll be seeing. While Jan de Kok carries on with his duties elsewhere and Tom walks the short distance to where the trap is being readied, I'll ride in the helicopter with Clive Bartman experienced pilot and veteran game herder. Helicopters like this are extremely important in game management work, especially for patrols, game surveys, and herding.
One helicopter can do the work of scores of men where the herding of wild animals is concerned. From above, we'll be driving animals into the trap from the right. When we locate the zebras we'll want to capture, they'll be herded entirely by us from above. All the fencing is of plastic nylon cloth but the captured animals evidently assume it to be solid and therefore avoid it. Now that we've seen the layout of the trap and studied how best to drive the zebras into it, we'll turn around and head back toward the area in front of the trap. There we'll scout outward to make certain that animals other than zebras are not in our path to disrupt the herding. There's a sizable elephant herd. They're moving along quickly, but we'll have to make sure they're well out of the way of the zebras we'll be driving. Large elephant herds like this were once common in Africa but now they're confined mainly to the bigger national parks like Kruger. Without the protection from man, which such parks afford, these largest of all land mammals might now be extinct. Elephants, despite their bulk, can run surprisingly fast, about 25 miles an hour, even when very young. That should keep them well out of our way. There's a lioness who doesn't like the noise we're making. She's vacating the area as quickly as the elephants did. We'll swing back toward the trap now to see how the work is progressing. A close contact is maintained between the helicopter pilot and the rangers at the trap. Our head ranger here, Ben Lamprecht, lets Clive and Marlin know we're nearly ready down here. I'll be working with Ludwig Wagner some distance away from here. This wall curtain closer to the front of the trap is just about ready. Ben will oversee the capture work done here. He and his men will hide and then close the entry curtain as soon as the zebras gallop through. This reinforced plastic and nylon material is tough, but it couldn't stop a determined zebra from breaking through. Fortunately, the zebras don't realize this. To them, the fencing is as sturdy as a brick wall. A second curtain barrier will be raised here when the zebras have passed this point. Ludwig's going to give the barrier a preliminary testing. This is the only curtain strengthened with heavy rope netting and it is camouflaged in a shallow trench. That's the way it's designed to work when the zebras have been driven inside. We hear the chopper returning so we'll have to finish and get ourselves hidden. They're about ready below us. They'll have the center barrier reset for triggering very soon. Time for us to take another swing outward from the trap entrance and locate the zebras we want. With the way cleared of other animals and the trap all ready, it is now time to concentrate on locating a zebra herd. It's been a while since we cleared the path for our zebra herding. During the interval, as we see ahead of us, some giraffes are passing through.
startled by our approach, they're moving away at a full gallop. The giraffe's vision has to be very keen and the long neck remarkably flexible to avoid collision with tree limbs at such a pace. They're now well out of the path along which we'll be herding the zebras. Although we're reluctant to leave such a magnificent sight, we have to continue our job. Clive has spotted some zebras running far ahead of us, so we'll check them out. They're a fine herd, but there are far too many for us to try driving them all. We'll come back and cut out a smaller group of them just as soon as we take care of a little problem. It's a herd of African buffalo on the move, and a very large one at that. If we can just keep them going in the direction they're heading, they shouldn't be any real problem to us. Except for their massive horns, they look much like domestic cattle. But these big animals are ranked as one of the most dangerous creatures in the world, especially if wounded. They're well out of our route now, so we'll turn back to head off a portion of that sizable zebra herd we left behind. That's a pretty good group splitting off. Clive says he'll swing around and come up from behind since they're already headed straight for the trap. They're galloping along ahead of us just as we want them to, and they'll probably stay together fairly well at first. Sooner or later, though, they'll try to break up, and that's where Clive Bartman's skill as a pilot gets put to the test. Although they can sprint up to 40 miles an hour, they can gallop along like this at about 30 miles an hour for considerable distances. Well accustomed to herding animals from the air like this, Clive has learned how to anticipate what the zebras will do. He knows that very soon they'll begin trying to split up. They're separating now. There's one group under control again, but now the herding is more difficult. Ben Lamprecht, waiting far ahead, is ready, and the zebras are heading directly his way. They'll pass very close to him. We're closing in on the mouth of the trap. We're just now passing Ben. They're well inside the trap now, close to one side, 
and we'll keep them heading toward the second barrier while Ben has his men close the trap's entrance curtain. They've secured the first part of the trap perfectly. Now it's time for Ludwig Wagner to alert the truck driver to get ready to pull up the second barrier. Until Ludwig signals for us to chase them on foot, we'll remain hidden. There's the signal. crossing the trench where the camouflage net is hidden. We'll help hold it up until it can be firmly anchored. This capture has worked as well as any I've ever seen. We'll hold our position above them here for a moment to make sure everything's under control. With the second barrier raised here, the zebra were restricted to this portion of the trap. Now our job was to haze them into the channel formed by this barrier and into the waiting truck. We're still above the corral portion of the trap with a good view below of the zebras we've captured. With the corral curtain snugly anchored and the men waiting for us, we'll land so I can join them on the ground and lend a hand in the final phase of the capture. This helicopter has certainly proven its value today in game herding. I'll take a closer look at the animals while the truck they'll be loaded into gets into position at the outside end of the chute. They're a fine bunch of animals and in excellent condition. They're still nervous but settling down somewhat. These animals will make a good nucleus for a new herd in the area to which they'll be moved. We'll use some pieces of plastic as hazing flags and move into the corral with the zebras. This part of the capture will be our closest contact with them. Ludwig cautions us to be careful. Frightened by our approach, the zebras will race around the corral and could accidentally run us down. We'll have to spread out and keep them circling until they decide the chute entrance might be an escape route. Once they do that and enter it, we'll have to get them to continue down the narrowing mouth of the chute leading toward the truck. to be careful with these wild zebras. 
They'll continue to run and circle like this for some time before trying their break. The zebra is no animal to take for granted. If you let him pass too closely to you, he's apt to give you a serious bite or kick as he goes by. The dust swirling around makes the hazing difficult. seem to be stringing out in a line now as they run. It shouldn't be long until they try to escape down the chute. It looks like we've finally got them going the right way. Tom and Ludwig will keep them moving all the way to the end. The gate of the truck is raised, and the zebras move in without any show of fear. Without ever having laid a hand on them, we've captured a fine group of animals. Now we'll take this first load to a new life in another part of Kruger National Park. This has been an ideal zebra roundup. The successful execution of the zebra roundup with such a minimum of human contact was due to careful planning. The zebras, without being unduly harassed or handled during the roundup, were healthier and better able to adapt quickly to their new home in a less populated region. Here they will continue to live the wild, free life they were meant to live, and the peril of a decimating famine or epidemic is greatly reduced. Such animals might otherwise have become endangered because of their own numbers. Now they're rescued from this natural peril. Through such far-sighted game management techniques, the zebras of Kruger National Park may continue their free and unfettered lives in a more remote area of the wild kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, the people who pay, has presented Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, helping people find Medicare solutions for over 50 years. To learn more about plan options or how to protect your kingdom, contact us today. Mutual of Omaha, protect your kingdom.